Welcome back to Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. I'm Dave Palumbo, and today is Thursday, May 11, 2017. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. When you take a loss in sports, you're left with two options. Either you can decide to lay there on the floor and let your dreams pass you by, or you can get your butt up, dust yourself off, and go back out there and fight what it is you truly want. And I guess our old friend, Volantas Dokos, falls into the latter category. Nearly two full years removed from suffering a tough defeat back at the 2015 Amateur Olympia, the man they call the Greek Freak is back and better than ever. This week, Muscle in the Morning was able to get our hands on some exclusive behind the scenes photos direct from the source as he prepares to jump back into contest prep mode. This new and improved version of Dokos looks to be bigger and rounder than anything he's ever brought before. And if he can really get the engine cranking again, I'll be curious to see what kind of run he can make before the year's end. I've always admired the guys who don't make it a point to go out there and run their mouths off. They just step up on stage and let their physique do the talking. And right about now, I hope the rest of the men's physique division is getting the message Brandon Hendrickson is sending loud and clear. This week, some new back training footage surfaced of last year's Arnold Classic champ in action as he starts to round into the next phase of his 2017 plans. Over the last year and change, Hendrickson has really developed into one of the more exciting young talents in all of men's physique. So if he can figure out how to get back into that championship groove, I'd love to see what sort of damage he can do at one of the midsummer showdowns. Everyone out there knows someone who steps into the gym and all of a sudden they start to become, well, just a little bit crazy. And I'm starting to think that Jason Poston is one of those guys. This week, the Poston team released some video from a recent deadlift session where we see the multi-time Olympian attacking the weights like an absolute demon. After announcing late last year that he was planning to make the jump over to Classic Physique, we still haven't heard any word as to whether or not we'll see him roll out Poston 2.0 at any point this season. But as long as he's going to be out there training like this, I don't think it matters much where or when he pops up, because this guy is going to be ready no matter what. When it was all said and done last year, the Tampa Pro ended up being one of the more entertaining shows of the entire season. And just under 12 weeks from now, figure sensation Jennifer Taylor will look to come in and keep the party going. Fresh off an incredible 2016 campaign that saw her close out the year with a dazzling top 10 Olympia finish, word coming out of the Taylor camp is that she's already light years ahead of the blistering pace she set last season. When she's at her best, Taylor is a sort of athlete that can be an absolute nightmare to deal with. So don't be too surprised if we see Jennifer Taylor find herself as the last woman standing in Tampa. Every year, ESPN the magazine publishes their now famous Next Issue that spotlights some of the up-and-comers headlining the next generation of athletes. And whenever they decide to get around to publishing a bodybuilding edition, someone should make sure they don't leave out the name Hassan Mustafa. Earlier in the week, some new training footage surfaced of the Middle East monster crushing a recent leg training session and announcing to his fans that he was officially entering phase one of his contest prep. Mustafa is one of those guys who has really eye-popping muscle, and as long as he shows up in shape, this kid is going to be a factor in every single show he throws his hat into from here on out. Remember, you heard it here first.